What's up reefers and welcome back to another video here at Aqua SD. My name is Jack and in this video we are going to be showing you the new Marine Master from Hanna Instruments and talking a little bit about why this is such a game changer in the hobby. In addition, we will also be discussing some of Hanna's other testers and showing you how to use them. So stick around and let's get into the video. Say hello to the Marine Master from Hanna Instruments, the all-in-one solution for reef tank testing. If you're looking for an easier way to monitor your water parameters, this innovative tool has got you covered. Gone are the days of juggling multiple test kits. The Marine Master lets you test pH, alkalinity, calcium, nitrates, both low and high range, nitrites, and phosphates, all with one simple device. As any reef keeper knows, testing your water is a key to maintaining a healthy tank. With the Marine Master, you can quickly and easily track your water chemistry, ensuring it stays within the ideal range for your reef's needs. And if anything's off, you'll be able to correct it right away. Hannah really thought of everything when designing the Marine Master. One feature I absolutely love is the on-screen guide with step-by-step -step instructions that walk you through each test. No more guesswork or confusion. Whether you're a beginner or a seasoned pro, this makes testing so much easier and more intuitive. And it gets even better. The auto logging function allows you to save up to 200 test results, each with a date and timestamp, so you'll always have a complete history of your tank's water parameters. Plus, you can log readings for up to 10 tanks at once. No more spreadsheets or unreliable apps to keep track of everything. When it comes to accuracy, HANA didn't cut any corners. The optical system is sealed to prevent contamination, and there is a locking mechanism to ensure the cuvettes will not move during testing. They have added advanced optical filters and a focus lens to strengthen the signal, thus achieving even more precise results. Plus, there's a calibration check feature to ensure the tester is always in top form and an internal reference detector that compensates for temperature changes, giving you reliable results every time. If you're ready to simplify your testing and take your reef keeping to the next level, the Marine Master from Hanna Instruments is definitely the way to go. Now, for those of you who aren't quite ready to upgrade to the Marine Master just yet, we at Aqua SD wanted to take you through some of the other testers offered by Hanna Instruments and provide step-by-step -step walkthroughs on how to use them. The first tool we will be going over is the alkalinity checker. Alkalinity in a marine aquarium is simply a measure of the amount of acid required to reduce the pH to about 4.2. Proper alkalinity levels are debated in the reef hobby, but the general consensus is alkalinity should be somewhere between 7 dKH and 11 dKH, and should be kept as stable as possible regardless of the exact number you decide on for your tank. Press the on-off button to turn the checker on. All segments will be displayed for a few seconds, followed by add C1 with press blinking. Fill the cuvette with 10 milliliters of unreacted sample and replace the cap. Insert the cuvette into the checker and close the cap. Press the on off button. When the display shows add C2 with press blinking, the checker is zero. Remove the cuvette and unscrew the cap. Using a one milliliter syringe, carefully add exactly one milliliter of HI772S marine alkalinity reagent to the sample. Replace the cap and gently invert five times. Insert the cuvette into the checker and close the cap. Press the on off button. The instrument displays the alkalinity concentration in dKH. The second tool we will be showing you is the calcium checker. Calcium is crucial in a reef tank because it binds with alkalinity to form calcium carbonate, which corals and other inhabitants utilize to make up their skeletons and shelves. In addition, calcium also plays a crucial role in maintaining pH in marine systems. With regards to the recommended level of calcium for a reef tank, an acceptable range is between 400 and 450 parts per million. Turn the meter on by pressing the button. All segments will be displayed. When the display shows add C1 with press blinking, the meter is ready. Add one milliliter of HI7581 reagent A to the cuvette using the one milliliter syringe. Use the plastic pipette to fill the cuvette to the 10 milliliter mark with deionized water and replace the cap. Invert three to five times to mix. Place the cuvette into the meter and close the meter's cap. Press the button. 
When the display shows add C2 with press blinking, the meter is zeroed. Remove the cuvette from the meter and unscrew the cap. Use the mini pipette to add 0.1 milliliter of sample to the cuvette. Add one packet of HI7582 reagent B. Replace the cap and shake vigorously for 15 seconds or until the powder is completely dissolved. Allow air bubbles to dissipate for 15 seconds before taking a reading. Place the cuvette back into the meter and close the meter's cap. Press the button. The meter displays concentration in parts per million of calcium. The third tool we're going to be showing you is the magnesium checker. Without proper magnesium levels, keeping calcium and alkalinity stable is an overwhelming challenge. The reason is because magnesium binds to the surface of calcium carbonate crystals, which stops calcium carbonate crystals from growing too large and thus precipitating out of the aquarium water. Although some people prefer it a little bit higher, an acceptable range for magnesium in a reef aquarium is between 1,250 and 1,350 parts per million. Press the on-off button to turn the checker on. All segments will be displayed for a few seconds, followed by add C1 with press blinking. Use the 5 milliliter syringe with black printing to measure 4 milliliters of HI783A-0 reagent. Ensure there is no excess reagent on the syringe tip, then slowly dispense the 4 milliliters of reagent into a clean, dry cuvette. If excessive reagent remains in the tip, draw a small amount of air into the syringe and use it to expel the remaining reagent into the cuvette. Use the 5 milliliter syringe with blue printing to measure 5 milliliters of unreacted sample. Ensure there is no excess sample on the syringe tip, then slowly dispense the sample into the same cuvette. Ensure no sample is remaining in the tip. Note, the total liquid volume will be below the 10 milliliter mark. Screw the cap on and gently invert the cuvette five times until the solution has been thoroughly mixed. Ensure there are no bubbles in the mixture and the outside of the cuvette is dry and clean. Insert the cuvette into the checker and close the cap. Press the on off button. When the display shows add C2 with press blinking, the checker is zeroed. Remove the cuvette. Using scissors, open one packet of HI783IND-0 reagent along the dotted line. Push the two corners together to make a spout. Unscrew the cap and add the content of HI783IND-0 reagent. Ensure all powder is added to the sample as loss of powder will result in false high readings. Screw the cap onto the cuvette. Gently shake the cuvette for 30 seconds or about 18 times. For the most accurate reading, ensure all reagent is dissolved and there are no visible bubbles. Ensure the outside of the cuvette is dry and clean. Insert the cuvette into the instrument and close the cap. Wait three minutes and press the button to read the PPM measurement of magnesium. Alternatively, with firmware version 1.01 and higher, Press and hold the button to start the three minute countdown, then the measurement starts automatically and the reading is displayed. The fourth tool that we are going to be demonstrating is the high range nitrate tester. Nitrate is important in a reef tank because it serves as a vital nutrient for many marine organisms, particularly the zooxanthellae living within coral polyps, which use nitrate as a food source to produce energy that is then shared with the coral, contributing to its growth and health. However, maintaining a balanced, low level of nitrate is crucial as too much can lead to algae issues and hinder coral growth. In terms of the recommended level of nitrate, this varies depending on who you ask. Press the on-off button to turn the checker on. All segments will be displayed for a few seconds, followed by add C1 with press blinking. Fill the cuvette with 10 milliliters of unreacted sample and replace the cap. Insert the cuvette into the checker and close the cap. Press the on off button. When the display shows add C2 with press blinking, the checker is zero. Remove the cuvette, unscrew the cap and add the contents of one packet of HI782-0 marine nitrate high range reagent. Replace the cap and shake vigorously for two minutes. Insert the cuvette into the checker and close the cap. Press and hold the on off button. The display will show the countdown prior to the measurement. Alternatively, wait seven minutes and press the button. When the timer ends, the checker will perform the reading. The instrument displays the nitrate concentration in parts per million. The fifth tool that we will be covering in this video is the ultra low range phosphate checker. 
Phosphate is important in a reef tank because it acts as a vital nutrient for many marine organisms, including corals and algae, playing a crucial role in their growth and tissue development. However, maintaining the right level is key as too much phosphate can lead to excessive algae growth while too little can hinder coral health and potentially cause bleaching. The ideal range for phosphate in a reef tank is between 0.02 and 0.10 parts per million. Press the button to power the meter on. When Add C1 appears on the screen, you are ready to begin testing. Fill a clean cuvette to the 10 milliliter line with your sample and fasten the cap. Using a microfiber cloth, wipe the cuvette to remove any oils or fingerprints from the glass. Then, place the cuvette into the checker and close the lid. Press the button. Once the screen shows Add C2, remove the cuvette from the meter and add one packet of HI774-25 reagent. Fasten the cap and shake gently for two minutes until the powder is completely dissolved. Then, wipe the cuvette of any oils and fingerprints and place back into the meter. Press and hold the button until the timer is displayed on the screen. A three minute countdown will begin. Once the timer reaches zero, the meter will automatically display the concentration of phosphate in parts per million. The sixth tool that we will be showing you in this video is the ammonia checker. Ammonia plays a crucial role in the nitrogen cycle within the tank, where beneficial bacteria convert ammonia into nitrite and then nitrate, which can be utilized by corals as a nutrient source at low levels. However, even in the smallest amounts, ammonia is toxic to many reef inhabitants, so we want ammonia to be less than 0.01 unidized ammonia concentration when testing our reef tanks. Press the on-off button to turn the checker on. All segments will be displayed for a few seconds, followed by add C1 with press blinking. Use the one milliliter syringe to dispense one milliliter of HI784A-0 reagent into a clean, dry cuvette. Using scissors, open one packet of HI784B-0 reagent along the dotted line. Push the two corners together to make a spout. Add the content of the packet to the cuvette. Use the pipette to fill the cuvette to the 10 milliliter mark with unreacted sample. Screw the cap onto the cuvette and shake gently until the powder is completely dissolved, around 60 to 90 seconds. Do not shake vigorously. This will cause more air bubbles. For the most accurate reading, ensure all reagent is dissolved and there are no visible bubbles. Ensure the outside of the cuvette is dry and clean. Let the cuvette stand for 30 seconds. This allows complete dissipation of micro bubbles. Insert the cuvette into the checker and close the cap. Press the on off button. When display shows add C2 with press blinking, the checker is zero. Remove the cuvette. Unscrew the cuvette cap. Using scissors, open one packet of HI784C-0 along the dotted line. Push the two corners together to make a spout. Add the content of the packet to the cuvette. Replace the cap and shake gently to dissolve the powder around 30 seconds. Insert the cuvette into the checker and close the cap. Press and hold the on off button. The display will show the countdown prior to the measurement. Alternatively, wait 15 minutes and press the button once to measure. When the timer ends, the checker will perform the reading. The instrument displays the ammonia slash ammonium concentration in PPM NH3. To calculate the unionized ammonia NH3 concentration, use the conversion table on the reverse side. The final tool that we will be discussing in this video is the nitrite checker. Nitrite is considered important in a reef tank because it is an intermediate stage in the nitrogen cycle where beneficial bacteria convert ammonia into nitrite, which is then further processed into nitrate, making it a crucial part of the process that keeps the tank clean and prevents toxic ammonia buildup. However, nitrite present in a tank can be harmful to reef inhabitants and should be kept below 100 parts per billion as it can stress corals or fish due to its ability to interfere with oxygen uptake in their blood. Turn the meter on by pressing the button. All segments will be displayed. When the display shows add C1 with press blinking, the meter is ready. Fill the cuvette with 10 milliliters of unreacted sample and replace the cap. Place the cuvette into the meter and close the meter's cap. Press the button. When the display shows add C2 with press blinking, the meter is zeroed. Remove the cuvette from the meter and unscrew the cap. Add the content of one packet of HI764-25 reagent. Replace the cap and shake gently for about 15 seconds. Then, place the cuvette back into the meter. Press and hold the button until the timer is displayed on the LCD. Once the timer runs out, the LCD will display the measurement. 
The instrument displays the concentration of nitrogen to nitrite, NO to N, in parts per billion. To convert the nitrogen to nitrite concentration, NO to N, to the nitrite ion concentration, NO, multiply the reading by a factor of 3.29. All right, that covers everything for this episode, and we hoped you were able to gain some useful insight on testing parameters in this episode. If you like this video and want to see more videos like this, give this video a like and hit that subscribe button. We want to know what you would like to see us cover in our next video, so leave a comment below giving us your thoughts. Also, if you missed any of our previous videos, check out the links on the screen and give them a watch. Until next time, happy reefing and see you soon.